Hey guys, this is Akhilesh from DataSense. Hope you are doing fine. Today we are going to learn how to extract data from a PDF to Excel. So this is the PDF which we are having. And you can see on the first page there is a small table, summary table, plus some other text, headers and some texts. And in the next page we have a detailed table behind that data set. And this is what we want to extract. So what normally people will do? Normally people will copy paste this and then control C then they will go to an Excel and they will try to paste it here and what happens that everything comes in one single cell sometimes it may come in multiple columns and rows also but it is not workable you cannot create pivot tables on this data you cannot write functions on this data so what is the best way to do there's another option which we have is that in the data tab of Excel 2016 or 2019 or in the Power Query section, this section is known as Power Query. And Power Query helps us to extract data from various sources and PDF is one of them. So when we go to Get Data and from File section, you can find from PDF here. So click on that and it will try to ask you that where is the PDF which you want me to connect. So this is the PDF which I want to connect. I will click on Import and once it is able to connect, it will show me different sections from that PDF. Like here, it is able to identify certain tables directly. In the page two also, there is another table or detail table. And in the page three, another table, which is the remaining part of our detail table. Page one is having everything, whatever comments were there, additional text. Page two, only that data. And page three also was having some comment at the bottom. So it is just showing you a sample. Okay. Let's say if you want to connect only the summary table. So I can go to this table 001 because that is what is showing the summary. And I can click on load. Okay. And now this will be loaded into one of my sheet. As simple as that. And it is a very clean data. No problem at all. And tomorrow if your PDF changes the data, this will also be updated by right clicking and refresh. Now, let us say we don't want to go for the summary table. We want to go for the detail table, which is splitted into two pages. So how to extract that one? So I will start from data tab again, get data from file and from PDF. And this time, so this is the PDF, click on import. Now this time, let me take any table, okay? And I will not click on load, I will click on transform data. And I know that my target table is in table two and table three. So I will click on transform data. So I clicked on one of the table there. Okay. And this is what we got. On the right side, you might see that there are certain steps which Power Query has applied automatically. So when I click on source, you can see this is listing all the components which it was able to extract page one, table one, table two, table three, like that. Okay. And here's the data behind them. And all the three steps, all the further three steps are keeping in mind that you want to extract only the summary table. So what I will do, I will right click on this second step and I will delete all the steps until end. So this will get rid of all the three steps after that. Okay. So I'm starting from source, which is able to connect to the PDF and it has given me these six sections. Using this third column, I can say that I want to see only tables. And I can also say that I want to ignore the table one because I know that that is related to the summary table and I'm interested in the detail table. And please note that this method will work even if your detail table is having 10 pages of data. Okay. Now this is the column which I am interested because data is here. These are all metadata informations about those about those tables. So what I will do, I will right click here and remove all other columns. Now I will try to expand this data column using these double arrows. I will uncheck this option and it will give me this data set. The first line is my header and then remaining is my data set. Your page two and page three data set is combined together here. So first line is our headers. So what I will do, I will go to home tab and here in the home tab, you have used first row as headers. So first row will be taken to headers. And now 
you can see data columns are there and these are the three numeric columns in that data set if you want to change the data type of any column you can just click on this prefix and say what kind of column it is and that's my data set this will be the name of the output table so what i will do and i will call it as detailed data Now, once you are done, you can click on close and load and close and load too. And this will give you some options where to put the data set which you have right now. So table means it will create another sheet in the current Excel file. You can create a pivot chart or a pivot table also. Let us go for a new worksheet. When I click OK, you will see a third sheet has been created and it is pulling the data together. And your data set is going through all those steps which you have written in the background. And this is what you get, which is quite a clean version of your PDF file. So these steps we can use to extract data from any PDF, which is digitally generated. Please note that if you have scanned some documents and you want to extract data from that, it might be very difficult. So your PDF should be digitally generated. That means that your Excel file or Word file, someone might have saved it as PDF, then you can extract it. Otherwise, it won't be possible for Power Query to extract this data. Hope you found it useful. Please share your feedback in the comment section, like the video, and if you have not subscribed to us, please do so. Thank you very much. See you in the next video.